Welcome to WJ's World. So today I'm out here at Johnstone and I really didn't plan on doing any recording today only because uh, Johnstone's so smooth and nothing really exciting happens as far as sales or just general business. Uh, by the way, see the screen, it's working. Really makes no sense if I got the door open though, right? I'm gonna put that, um, that magnetic screen thing, I'm gonna put that magnetic screen thing up there uh, probably this weekend. But um, so, came to Johnstone regular day. Uh, my regular customers come over and get something to eat. I'm sitting here wondering why my griddle's smoking. I forgot to turn the burners down when I started originally today. So, I came here. Um, the ladies from across the street come and get something to eat like they normally do. They only can eat my food on a Tuesday, so that's more than enough time to crave it again and be like, hey, on Tuesday I want that food. Uh, but as I pulled into Johnstone, there's a light right here at the corner. And across from me is another lunch trailer. So they're set up. Uh, the lady said they actually came over to where their parking lot is and asked could they set up over there. But the manager there told them, no, we're, you can't set up here because it's Tuesday and the ladies like to go across the street to my, my uh, trailer. I put in my time here. See, that's what happens when you put in your time. Uh, people get familiar with you. Uh, they want your food. Uh, they, they, they get familiar with you as a person, too. So they're right across the street from me, and they got a nice setup, a lot more signage than I got, but you know mine's is coming. Uh, actually, I got to go get some uh, dry erase markers today and uh, another sheet of probably just some, uh, some particle board or something because I want to paint. I want one side to be... Uh, dry erase and I want the other side to be chalkboard. One of my priorities today is to practice on my quesadilla. So before I put it on the menu, I want to make sure I can make it consistently and it tastes good. So I'm going to practice on it today, uh, make one for myself naturally, see if how uh, I got some, some spray because I don't like a soft quesadilla. I like a, a, a slightly crunchy quesadilla. Um, so I got some spray that I can put on it um, to toasting up the, uh, the tortilla and then I'll cut it into three sections uh, add the cheese and everything on the inside and uh, I still haven't got the seasoning that I want for the quesadilla I want a more cheesy seasoning I don't want to have to make it because I was researching the, uh, the, the more cheesy seasoning that you can have for a quesadilla but I don't want to have to use that so I'm going to end up having to find a, uh, a somewhat of a cheese sauce for the quesadilla but not pure cheese sauce. I don't want it to be pure cheese, but I, when you, I like when you break a quesadilla and it's stringy cheesy. So I might just have to get, so I might just have to get several uh, individual cheeses like a mozzarella uh, by itself so I can get that more stringy effect when you open up the quesadilla because I like uh, a cheesy quesadilla. So I'm in the process right now of uh, testing out this quesadilla. Uh, I got the chicken cooking right now and I I put the, uh, the spray, the butter spray, onto the quesadilla. I just tried it on a smaller tortilla, and it made it crispy just the way that I like it, and it actually tastes really good. So um, let's go ahead and throw this on here. Put the smasher on it because I wanted to make sure it lays flat for right now. And then I also got to see exactly how much chicken I need to put into this. I think this tortilla is a little big, but we'll see. Got to have the pico sauce. I love pico sauce. I want the cheese to uh, melt, so let it cook for about a minute, minute and a half. Everything's already cooked. I just wanted to get more crispy, and uh, then I'll cut it. It's giving the look that I want, 
I just want the cheese to melt on the inside, which I'll figure out which cheese is best to put on the inside. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it and see what it looks like. All right, already I see I need a more melting type cheese. Ooh, okay. Ooh, it's crispy too. All right, so if you look at the inside of it, cheese is nice and melted. I did put a sauce the uh, ranch sauce up in there, but uh, it's got a, a harder shell. Look at that. I could put more ingredients in there too, like peppers or something. The way it's looking right now, I like the way it looks. And for that size tortilla shell, that's actually a, a pretty decent size. So I could put more chicken in there, number one. I really need to find a sauce that can go with it. And uh, I don't know, it's looking kind of good. So, let's now see how it tastes. Hmm. Okay. Tastes all right. Now the sauce that I put in there, I use for something else. So it makes it taste like that, just in case the deal form, which isn't bad, it tastes good. But I, I'd like a, a, a sauce that's particularly for the quesadillas, but, uh, just that little bit of crunchiness. Mm. Hot. And the melted cheese. Oh, that is good. Oh, yeah, that's good. I like it. I like it a lot. So, yeah, I think I'm ready for quesadillas. Hey, well, I got back to the house today and uh, I got an early delivery, which is my corner lights for my turn signals. Now, let me show you what they look like. So instead of getting the, the factory look of the turn signal, that orange color, I ended up getting some uh, smoke gray ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and install these real quick, see what they look like afterwards. Well, see, I thought there would be a, um, a significant quality issue from the new one to the old one, but the old one, the new one, or the old one is just as El Cheapo as the new one. The new one's just cleaner looking, but, uh, yeah, cheap piece of um, plastic here. Oh yeah, that's cheap anyway. So yeah, you know what? I'm gonna get some new leather for my seats. Truck was old, so, well, not really that old, but I'm gonna get some new leather for my seats one of these days. But as far as the way things look in it, these just fit right back into the um, original housing. So we'll see what this looks like. It actually looks pretty good. Um, just gotta clean those little marks up right there. That's nothing. But yeah, smoke gray uh, turn signal. I had it upside down at first, but uh, well, actually I had the wrong one on this side. But uh, I'm gonna go around the other side, pop that one out real quick and put it on. I like the way that looks, give the truck a different look. Sweet. Well, I'm in the midst of a major cleanup right now. Uh, I bought some more board so I can finish the uh, A-frame sign, put the, the white board on that side, uh, and then the dog needs some something to, to lay on that will uh, resist urine. <laughs> so the white side of this will be a nice cover for the dog underneath where she normally hangs out. Uh, we put the pee pads down, but sometimes she misses the pee pads, so that's what I got this board for. So seasons change. Um, sometimes they change fast weird it's really weird because I kind of expect it to be in this trailer for a couple of years <laughs> no uh, no form of my plan for the past couple years have been me flipping this or getting out of it as fast as as fast as I am <sighs> so there's a, a new chapter coming <laughs> uh, and uh, sometimes chapters in a book they go fast, even as exciting as they are, you know, time to turn the page and the next chapter comes. So, yeah, I have been researching things, my next thing to do. I was planning on doing it in conjunction with this, but things changed. And I got an offer on the trailer and I'm going to take it. I've already taken it, pretty much. So I'm cleaning up everything, making sure everything's nice and clean for the 
next occupant. And yeah, we're gonna move on from there. So I'm basically selling it with everything. The price is for everything in it, uh, which usually for the price that I'm selling it at usually is, it's, he's getting a pretty good deal because it's usually just the price of the equipment, but no logistics to actually operate. Well, I'm selling the logistics for it to operate as well. And I'm moving on to the next thing. Um, you know, like I said, the plan was to be this, be in here for a couple of years, but you know, I, I'm not upset. Uh, I got more than enough money to justify it. So there's no complaints from me. Um, it's just weird that it came so fast. It, there was a lot behind the scenes that I didn't record just because my mind was racing about, should I do this? Should I make this next move um, so fast? Because I, I haven't been operating long. It took me years to get this thing up and running. And now it's about to leave. So the thought process or the thought came, should I, uh, go at this a little longer or should I make this next move because this next move could potential could could this next move could potentially be greater much greater than this um, so I'm you know <sighs> so as far as uh, right now I'm just in the process of uh, organizing everything cleaning everything getting everything ready because I have to actually today I guess I'll film this too so today we got a I'm gonna ride out about three hours away with a friend of mine to go pick up his his new car it's about three hours away from Richmond so we're gonna do that and then when I get back the guy who wants to purchase the trailer is supposed to be coming up from North Carolina now usually when people come to look they come to buy so um, like we're, we're literally driving further than him and my friend hasn't seen this car, but he's going to go buy that car. So, uh, that guy's coming up only an hour and 45 minutes, I think. And most likely he's leaving with the trailer. Uh, it's going to be weird to see this spot at my house empty, but exciting. So it, it, it's a, it's a heart pounding thing. You know, I've worked so hard and this thing has been such a, um, a staple in my life but I don't mind seeing it go uh, or stay either or I, I, I don't mind either way but if he's gonna come by it then I'm happy to see it go I, I don't know how, how else to say that um, there's a lot of work done in here a lot of memories done in here but luckily I recorded them all so I can always go back and look at it and enjoy the time that I spent in this trailer it's been fun, it's been real. On to the next thing, I guess, you know, and you guys can come along with me. We still got big things to do, so this one thing, this one business is not uh, the end all, the be all, and neither is the next one. That's, that's the funny part about it. I have to get this floor cleaned. I'm gonna take these mats out again. It was time to clean them anyway. I've cleaned the wall, cleaned all the surfaces. Um, I just got to get some of this old stuff out of here and um, I've cleaned this area. Everything's pretty clean other than that light yellow dusting that you see at some of the joints from the fire suppression back when it blew up on me. But uh, yeah, once I clean the floor, I'm going to clean up my oil tub. Um, so that's clean form. That other tub is where the fresh water and, and gray water hoses are. Uh, what else do I got to do? I'm going to clean out the refrigerator. The prep fridge is already clean, but I'm going to uh, get what's, what can rot out of there because I, I don't know what type of food he's cooking. So I got to get the, the lettuce and the tomatoes and the onions out of there. I just have to trash those because uh, I doubt I'll be making a big onion sandwich. I think I'm going to end up just giving him the sodas because my family, we don't drink sodas. I sell sodas, but I don't drink sodas. So there's a lot of sodas that I... Uh, will go to waste at my house. Um, what else is there? I got these, These. I just bought this box of trays. You can have those. 
I got another box inside with the little uh, condiment cups. He can have those. Uh, napkins, I give him a box of napkins. My boxes of receipt paper. I got a couple boxes of receipt paper. I have some extra stainless steel um, six inch pans, saucepans. You can have those. All right, we've been here before. Just gonna go ahead and mop. Uh, that's the last thing I have to do. Just mop this floor. Um, not the last thing I have to do, but that's one of the last things I have to do to finish cleaning up in here. Mop the floor real good. I pretty much wiped down all the surfaces. I'm gonna clean out the fridge, get a couple things out of there. Um, so if he buys it today, he can actually keep a lot of the stuff that's in there. But I'll clean out the fridge, uh, wipe her down. I've already wiped the cabinets down, wiped all the stainless steel surfaces down. I got a stainless steel cleaner that actually makes this stuff shine that I'm gonna put on here as well. So my friend Daniel is on his way over so we can hit the road. Um, it's gonna take about two and a half, hopefully about two and a half hours to get there. And then once we get there, you can put the money on, uh, give the guy the money for the car. We turn around, head back, and then I'll finish cleaning this up. And once I get back, or once I get close to getting back, cause that guy is an hour and 45 minutes away. When I get about 30 minutes away from Richmond, what I'll do is I'll call him and let him know, hey, I'm about 30 minutes away from the house so you can start heading out. And then by the time he gets here, it should be like four, maybe five o'clock, somewhere around there. And he can, you know, decide to buy if he wants. It's not a done deal yet, but it's, it's pretty much a done deal. Like I said, most people don't take that ride unless they're, you know, ready to purchase. And the site that I went through, they actually vet their buyer. So he's not a tire kicker. Um, if he's got this far, he most likely is going to purchase the trailer. So I'll sign the title over to him, he'll give me the cashier's check, and then, you know, she'll be gone. You know, bittersweet, very bittersweet, but you know, I'm excited uh, for him. I'm excited for me, you know. Uh, so, you know, we'll just, uh, we'll just roll with the punches like we always do. On to the next chapter, I guess. made it to Salem, Virginia, and I got his older car, and he's got the newer car. That nice champagne-colored Audi right there. Low miles, uh, a gym out here in the sticks. Uh, I, I can't really call this the sticks, but the mountains. There's a mountain right behind this building I'm in front of, which is awesome to look at. But he, um, <clears throat> yeah, he found it online which the used car market is on fire right now because uh, he so it's really a, a steal the price of the of the van i mean it's really a steal the price of the car so it's got good miles has one little dent in it uh nothing major though engine looks really good it has sixty one thousand miles on it yeah uh i think it's a good buy you know you want a car you want a new vehicle you want to try and find the best used car if you're not looking for something new i mean that's a that's a steal right there and plus he knows how to work on cars anyway so it's no problem as daniel is over there filling the car up we're about to get back on the road it's about three almost three hours so it's almost a three hour ride so six hours round trip nothing too crazy too major this is a tiny little town we got here got my gps up and running uh mountains everywhere foggy ones too but yeah, so we're gonna hit the road and go ahead and uh, head back to Richmond. Okay, we're almost halfway through the trip and I decided to uh, just do a little talking because it's a long ride and I'm bored. But I'm sitting here thinking, you know, the moves that I've made, um, some successful, some not. Uh, some extreme, some not. And I'm thinking about this move as far as the trailer. As far as the trailer goes, because uh, the gentleman that's gonna come purchase the trailer, he uh, called me while we were down in Salem uh, just to make sure everything's still a go and everything like that. And it's like, you know, 
I've done a lot. Uh, I've made a lot of moves. And like I said before, seasons change. One day when I look back on these videos and I'll see the moves I've made to get to where, you know, I'm trying to go, I guess you'd say, uh, which is financial success, large financial success. I've had financial success. I wanted to be large financial success. I guess when I look back on these videos and, and see this chronology of the moves that I've made, you know, I can look back and say, hey, you know, either I made the best move or the worst move. I don't know yet. I don't know yet, but I'm willing to bet on myself, uh, which is the mo more important thing to me. When I was young, I never seen myself retiring from any business. I ne I, I, I've never been able to envision that. And, and I got a large, expansive imagination. I can imagine a lot of things, but I never seen myself retiring from somebody else's business. So knowing that and knowing the way that I operate, I. I have to try. I have to try. I have to try. That's that's the way I operate. And, you know, there's going to be some failures in that trying. And that comes along with the territory. I learned that a, a long time ago. Failure is a great teacher. Over the course of the next year, like I said, I, I like I said, I expected to be in the lunch trailer for three years at least. I think what is kind of spurring my decision to uh, let the trailer go, even though I don't have to, to let it go is the economy. I, I really think politicians are playing politics with our lives and not letting everything open to the capacity that it was before. And I get, I 100% I believe there's a virus. I 100% believe it's killing people, but it's not killing people in the numbers that would warrant such a drastic reaction as far as the economy goes. Masks, yes. Uh, six feet distance, yes. Shutting down the economy and basically crapping on small businesses, no. Um, I had 20 locations, at least 20, before the economy shut down. Uh, places that I knew were food deserts. Well, those places, everybody's at home now, so nobody's there maybe a couple security guards and a manager. Nobody's there. I had places that by now I should have been making very good money by the time I opened up. But politicians, for the love of me, I don't understand it, how um, they're so worried about people's lives, but people are still dying out here from a plethora of things that are uh, directly connected to other people because you know the, the next argument will be well what you do can kill somebody else very correct like a drunk driver uh, you know like a mass shooter yeah same same um, sa along the same lines of um, you know danger to me from where I stand you know danger is danger and, and even a distracted driver, they don't even have to be drunk, can do uh, somebody else major damage. But when you talk about you know, what we're able to do out here and what they're allowing us to do as far as you know, pursuing the American dream, it's just, you know, it, 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 I just don't understand. I just don't understand how they let businesses, small businesses fall. And then when you give stimulus money, when you try to help businesses, you start from the top down with billionaires. I just don't get it. Um, so that's another decision that's like spurred my, you know what, if somebody wants to come buy it, I'll let it happen. And the next venture I'm gonna go into, uh, we'll get into that shortly. But like I said, I had planned to be in this for a couple years. Um, Actually, my my son's mother was just telling me uh, the other day that he was looking forward to working with me on the trailer, and I was looking forward to working with them on the trailer. We got other things we can do, but it was one of the things I was looking forward to. That's probably not going to happen now. I mean, it is what it is. Um, as long as my end game, ha <laughs> end game, is where it's supposed to be. Life is surprises. 
and I enjoy the surprises. Uh, I'm not going to hate the surprises um, because sometimes there's nothing you can do about it. Like the, the government shutting down everybody, there's nothing I could personally do about that. Even if I was up and running before this, if they shut me down, there's nothing I can do about that. So I'm in the position right now where there's an opportunity for me to jump into something else. And I already had the money to jump into that, but the trailer would just give me extra money. So that's the direction I'm going to take. And, you know, I'm going to bring you guys along for the ride and hopefully people enjoy it. This is the backdrop to a Taco Bell. It's beautiful back there. So the people came by yesterday and it seems like they were pretty happy with the uh, trailer. So I'll find out tomorrow, it's Sunday right now, I'll find out tomorrow if um, they want to buy it. So the gentleman came from North Carolina, not too far from here, maybe about an hour and 45 minutes. And his girl, his wife, um, she's the one that's going to be operating it. So. Um, if she likes it, then I guess she's going to purchase, uh, have him purchase. He, he has a masonry business, so he has the, the bread to, to purchase what I'm selling it for. So I've cleaned up everything really nice and uh, wholesome as if it was brand new again. I have pretty much everything cleaned up. Uh, that's... She really liked the height of the trailer um, because I'm tall. I had to make it tall. She was tall, but she was tall for a girl. She liked the height. She liked the counter height. She liked the fact that this window isn't one of the huge windows that you typically see on a lunch trailer, that really, really big, wide window. And that's because um, she likes the privacy. So when you're dealing with customers, the customer's out there and the customer can't really see what you're doing or is in your space while you're, you know, preparing your food. And she's actually going to do fish. So being from the country, you know, people love fish. She's going to do fish. So that actually should sell pretty well. And with this type of setup, if I was doing fish, yeah, I probably would, would have done double what I've already did. I got a bunch of stuff that they can take with them that I had purchased for the trailer. Um, and they can have it all. I got the best deal online right now for a trailer. So <laughs> for what I'm asking for, it, it's it's a steal actually. Um, I guess in the end, you know, I'll move on to the next venture, which I'm already halfway into. Um, I got a lot of paperwork to fill out. So that's the process that I'm in right now. It takes about a month to get that started. And we'll talk about that probably in the next video. But uh yeah, things are bittersweet. You know, I don't want to see it go, but at the same time, like I said before, you know, steps, seasons change. So this season might be over for me, but it was a fun one and I enjoyed every year that this was on my mind. I really did. And now the next thing is gonna be on my mind. And we'll go from there and hopefully I consider this a success. I was out making money. I didn't. I haven't had a chance to really build up my clientele, but I got I got repeat customers that love my food. And oh man, I, I feel sorry for them because they're they're gonna be like, oh man, you're not in business anymore. I can't get that flatbread sandwich anymore, you know. But I mean, it is what it is. So by the uh, end of the week, if he wants it, he's gonna let me know tomorrow. And by the end of the week. He should come pick it up. If that's the case, then, you know, sayonara to the trailer. I've loved it, but you know, she gotta go. And I finished the other side of the A-frame. So now, and I won't even get a chance to use it. So now with my uh, menu on there, I have the other side of the A-frame, the whiteboard. That came in handy. I actually had a lot more people stopped as soon as I put that out. And then I also have the uh, 11 foot banner now. They really like the trailer. So if he's willing to get it, I guess it will be gone. 
like I said, I have all the money to start my next venture, so I technically don't have to get rid of the trailer. The trailer money would just be extra money in the bank to make sure the next thing survives. And that's what it's about out here. It's about uh, my survival and going on to the next step because my ultimate goal is to get into real estate. I want to get into uh, fixing up houses, renting and selling them. So that's like one of my ultimate goals and also um, to a degree video production. I really like video production so whatever I can do in that field I want to try and get into. I want to get better cameras and better gear lighting and stuff like that and have a little video production um, thing going on to where I can do certain stuff and I, I want to incorporate that stuff on this YouTube channel which if the trailer sells I'm gonna get some of the gear to do that but uh, that's that's future plans but so on to the next adventure and uh, we will talk soon